So we're going to put, we're going to try to put the saddle on rodeo for the first time. Uh, and I'm going to set up and do it the way I do it. And uh, we'll see what happens. So much talk today about training horses. Um, but when we talk about training horses, I ask myself and I ask others more and more often today, how much does your horse actually need trained? I mean, on the first level, we're not gonna let her eat, no eating, okay? On a basic level, your horse already knows how to walk. Your horse knows how to stop. Your horse knows how to turn left. Your horse knows how to turn right. Your horse knows how to do. And I think sometimes the idea of training horses comes from an arrogant place. Uh, training, training is me communicating to her. No. And her listening to what I'm communicating. But the idea of training does not include me listening to her. It's her listening to me. So when we go, so so many times people put a horse in a round pen to do whatever they're going to do. I don't know. Be still. Be still. And I use a round pen at times because there's things I need to communicate to the horse that's best communicated that way. But I use a round pen for communication, not for training. Is there a difference? The basic difference is your philosophy and your view and your attitude when you, when you approach it. So now I'm not going to train her to take the saddle. Okay. I'm going to offer it to her and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to listen to her tell me where she's at in it. And we're going to go from there. I'm not using a round pin. I'm just out here on a lead rope because I want her to listen to me. And I want to listen to her. And I want her to have the freedom to talk. Okay? Now, our number one job, you're not going to eat. You're not going to eat. Our number one job with these horses is to take away the fear. Our number two job is to take away the confusion. But you can't take away the fear. And you can't take away the confusion if you're not willing to hear their side of the story. Okay? So I'm going to communicate to her and ask her if she will let me put this saddle pad on. And then I'm going to listen to what she has to say. If I approach it from a, I'm going to train you to do this, then I'm going to have the attitude. I'm going to make you do this. Now this saddle pad's been used by several of the horses around here, so she's got smells on here that she's familiar with. I need to be on this side. I need to be on this side. Um, so now I'm just going to offer it to her. I'm just going to offer it to her. Now, that's the first time she's ever had that on her back. Now there's... Two or three things I want to be aware of. First, I'm going to take it off. All right? When you're offering something like that to your horse, offer it to them. Let's see if we can turn it around. Offer it to them. And if they take it, good girl, take it off. All right? That way they don't think right off the bat, whatever this thing is, it's stuck with me. They don't have the same concept of time that we have. We'll put it back on, and we'll take it off. Now you'll notice I'm not sneaking up. People sneak up on the horse. I'm not sneaking up. I'm not spooking her and scaring her. She's never had this on here before. What is the difference? The difference is we handle her all the time. We handle her in a proper manner, and everything we do, we do calm. We do communication with her. And so she's like, handling me is not new. 
and they haven't done anything that has scared me or spooked me so this ain't no big deal so I'm gonna leave that on there for a second just kind of let her get the feel of it she's more concerned with getting a mouthful of grass now what I don't want is I don't want it to her to take a step and it fall off and spook her she don't even care anything about it she just wants to eat so I'm gonna come up here now why am I doing this out here like let's see if we can go the other side I don't want to mess up mama's video or I'm gonna be in trouble come here baby doll Let's see if we can do it from right here. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, well, so I have her on the lead rope. And I have her on the lead rope. If she decides she needs to move, I'm gonna let her move. I'm not gonna tell her, whoa. I'm not gonna tell her, whoa. Try to hold her in. I'm gonna let her move. And I'm going to take away the fear, take away the thing that bothers her, and just go back to the beginning. All right? Now, I'm going to offer it to her. I'm going to let her smell it, let her see it. I'm going to put the lead rope over this arm so if she decides to leave. I smelled it and I just want grass. <laughs> Get your head up. Get your head up. There you go. Now, again, I'm not going to sneak up on her. I'm going to put this on her. Whoop. I'm just going to set it on. Whoop. Whoop. Just going to let it set there. Just let her hold it for a minute. Let her smell it. Now sometimes what some folks do, and it's not a bad thing. Okay, she just if she's putting her head down to graze, she's pretty relaxed. Now sometimes what some folks will do is they'll put it on them, they'll cinch it up tight in a round pen, turn them loose, let the horse buck around the round pen and get used to it. I prefer my horses never buck, okay? I prefer they never buck. I want her to just, no drama, no trauma, you can smell it. Just let her move around a little bit. I've got a hold of it here, so if I need to pull it off, I can. She's not terribly anxious, she's a little unsure. There we go. And then she puts her head down to graze again. You see how she's coming in close to me right there? There we go. A horse will crowd you if they start to get a little nervous. That's her security. But she's all right. She's not bad. Are you going to cinch it up? I'm not going to cinch it up. You want to play with that lead rope? Okay. Listen, what I've said in so many of the videos, can I have it back? What I've said in so many of the videos, we're not on a clock. Easy girl. We're not on a clock, okay? We're not in a hurry. This ain't the road to the horse, all right? I don't have 24 hours to wind up in the end because I'm trying to do a competition standing on this horse popping a dang bull whip. All right. How much when I get in a hurry, how much foundational stuff do I lose? How much foundational stuff do I miss because I didn't just take the time? How many years how many years do we spend putting our kids through school so they become educated adults? 
All right? We don't consider our children adults until they're 18. The government doesn't. Can't join the military till they're 18. Can't drink till they're 21. Can't even buy cigars till they're 21 anymore. All right? Can't get married at 16. Shouldn't get married at 16. Heck, most people shouldn't get married at 26. They ain't grown up enough. But we expect these babies to both full grown, fully broke horses dealing everything, taking everything that we want to deal with them when they're 18 months old or two years old. And then we get on them, we start riding them. You're not, go not gonna eat, not gonna eat. And then we find holes later and we find, oh man, they won't let us pick up their feet. Oh man, they're jumpy about this and they're scared of that. Plastic bags make them go nuts. And, and uh, when I cinch them up, they pin their ears and try to bite me. And, and uh, when I go to put the head stall in their mouth, they lift their head way up high and they won't take it. And all this stuff is wrong. Yeah, check it out. She's checking it out. She's just a baby. All right. My wife sends me these TikToks all the time. They got this sound on TikTok says, I just a baby. Well, they are. They're just babies. And I have to remind folks all the time when they're riding these young horses, hey, they're just a baby. Come on around here. Come on. She keeps trying to make sure the camera gets her good side. I think that's what it is. But she's so pretty, it's all her good side. All right. Whoa. I'm not going to push. She's, she's experienced a blanket now. Didn't care. She has a saddle on her now. She don't care. So what is next? What am I going to do? Well, I've started picking her feet up. We catch her and brush her and fly spray her all the time, and she don't care. She's gotten used to it, and she don't care. You're not going to eat that grass. Nope. So now when we catch her out, she's still too young. Let me fold that back there so I don't get your eye. She's still too young and too small for me to get on her, and I don't need to. I'm not working on training her body so I can ride her. I'm working on her mind and a relationship with her. Uh, I want her to get used to all this stuff. When I go to get in a side, I want it to be just another whole hum. I know how to do this. Um, so when we start getting her out, now when we get her out to brush her, to comb her, to fly spray her, to pick up her feet, we'll just start putting a blanket and a saddle on her. Next thing we'll do after two or three times of this, I'll get a saddle that uh, with a small cinch that'll fit her and I'll just start cinching her up, start leading her around with a saddle. <laughs> she is such a baby. Come on, get up here and quit, quit. I don't wanna let that saddle go cause I don't, have it cinched, but I don't want it to come off. You say, Dwayne, she's not acting very professional now. She dang well better not be. She's 20 months old. You're not going to take your 12 year old and take a switch to them because they're not acting professional. No, we don't do that. See, she's impatient. She's like, I've been through this. I want something to eat. I don't care. Get this thing off me. I'm done. No. All right, gonna quit while we're ahead. So, you know what the best horse videos are? The best horse videos are the most boring ones. Those are the best ones. Those are the ones that you know you did stuff right. The ones where it's all exciting and the horses are bucking and flipping them over backwards and jumping over the panels with riders, that means somebody didn't do something right. Those are failures. Those aren't successes. The ones where they just stand there the first time and take it, those are successes. Now, the communication thing, get off and quit. I'm gonna start bumping you. I'm gonna start bumping you. Get off and quit. This is what she's doing. This is communication, all right? Watch that. Watch that. Slacking that lead rope, okay? And you said, Dwayne, that's because you're on that side. Watch her slacking this lead rope. Look how light she is. Look how she's giving in the hindquarters. She's never had a bit in her mouth. 
never had anyone on her back. You start the babies, you start the babies like this, and then when you finally get on their back, they're like, oh, I already know all this. I already know all this, okay? So there you go. Rodeo just got her first blanket and her first saddle. See how loose that is? And she didn't care. And if I do my job right, every step after this is gonna be the same way. She's just not gonna care. This horse, when I got her, I had to rope her the first two times I caught her. She wasn't halt or broke or anything. Give me that nose. Now, if she gives like that, how do you think she's gonna be when I finally get in her back and put a bozel on her? Mama's got that look, honey. We're crowding her camera. We better back up. She might hit me in the neck with a tennis ball. This morning, we were sitting in the chairs here at school around the pavilion. Mama was sitting beside of me. She went to throw a tennis ball for Waylon to go fetch the ball. And she hit me right in the neck. So she decided maybe she wouldn't play ball anymore this morning. And uh, so I kind of warned Rodeo, if we get too close to that camera and mama bends down and picks up a tennis ball, we gotta back up. So anyhow, boring little video. That's the way this one ought to be. Communicate and build a relationship with your horse. Teach them to communicate with you and that you will hear their communication and then hear their communication. Care and listen to what they tell you. But if you build that relationship and that communication first, everything else is a walk in a park. All right? So if you like this video, click like, subscribe if you haven't, um, click that bell so you can get notified. And uh, remember horsemanship is a thinking man's game. Any clown could put on a pair of boots and a hat and jump in the back of a wild horse, get it to buck around, put it on TikTok, and get a lot of views. That ain't a horseman, all right? Be a horseman. For our next trick, I'm going to teach her to smoke cigars. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. There we go. There's broke horses can't do that.